Hello. So we recently got to stay at the campgrounds at Fort Wilderness in Walt Disney World. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit out of order for places we stayed, but I wanted to get this one out close to Halloween-ish, just, you know, while that's fresh in people's mind. Like, you won't be able to see this stuff now, but maybe plan for next year. Um, this was something we had booked 500 days in advance, which is the earliest you can book any Disney property, from my understanding. Even then, we were only able to book a few days, as this is an incredibly popular place to stay while enjoying the Disney parks. Um, we stayed here just before Halloween, so we got to see the incredible decorations that people put out on their campsites, with many people also decorating their golf carts that they used to navigate the property. It seems every year for Halloween, a lot of people go all out while staying at these campsites, and often they even have trick-or-treating events at the campground. They also do pumpkin carving, crafts, and other Halloween activities. Um, this is in addition to their normal activities such as horseback riding or even guided Segway tours. If you're able to book some time here, especially during Halloween, I definitely recommend staying here. Also, it's one of the cheaper Disney properties to stay in. We stayed for about $120 a night plus taxes and fees. So here we go. We took some daytime to explore and one of our first stops was at the meadow swimming pool area which also has an arcade, the pool obviously, and a little poolside snack bar. Sadly there was no DDR in the arcade which is one of our favorite games to play. Um, oh well. These are cool activity options for a day you might not want to go to the Disney parks and the pool looks very inviting. This is located in about the middle of the campground and then they have another pool area near their cabins area of the campground. Here in this pavilion, they have ping pong and other games, as well as a board that lists the activities that they did for the Halloween season. They also have a large campfire area, um, we didn't get around to checking that out, um, where they do s'mores and sing-alongs with Chip and Dale. So right across from Meadow Trading Post, one of the two little stores on property, you can get to the bike barn where you can rent bikes, canoes, and other things. We'd wanted to check out the trading post and see if we could find a suitable small souvenir that had Fort Wilderness Campground. You can see here all of the things they sell in the store. We were hoping for a magnet, but they were sold out at the time. They sell your typical souvenir merch, Disney merch for your pets, but also basic camping supplies, last minute items you might need, and also all you need to make s'mores. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall
There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall They have bus stops throughout the grounds near the loops for campsites. These buses will take you to a hub at the front or back of the campground where you would transfer to the bus going to whichever park you want to go to or Disney Springs. We found it was faster for us to bike to the hub from our campsite and lock our bikes on the bike rack while we went to the parks. This probably cut our time waiting for buses by about 20 minutes. I feel good, you look great, I like you, I can't wait. Here's Fort Wilderness Landing, which is near the back of the grounds. There's a beach, and this is where you'd catch the boat to Magic Kingdom. From the beach, you can see the fireworks at night. This is a much less crowded area for fireworks viewing, though you don't get to see the projections or hear the music from here. However, it's nice to have a place to go if you need a break from the crowds or simulation, but still want to see the fireworks. So we made our way to the Settlement Trading Post, which is near the Fort Wilderness Landing, as well as near some of the restaurants that are on property. The store is mostly the same stuff as the other store, though it seemed a little bigger, so it had just more of everything. up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. Our first time, our first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight. Across from Settlement Trading Post, you'll find Crockett's Tavern as well as P&J's Southern Takeout, which is a mobile order, quick service type place at Pine and Pioneer Hall, where they do the Hoop to Do Review dinner show. Crockett's serves lounge food like nachos or chicken wings and things, as well as it seems to be the place to get your adult beverages while staying at Fort Wilderness Campground. This was a work week for us, except for the day we arrived, so we did not have a chance to try out any of their offerings, so I can't review them, but I'll leave a link below for the Hoop to Do Review. I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall So while we were here, we took some evening time to explore the campground and see the amazing, massive, extensive decorations that people put out at their campsites for Halloween. Um, these decorations are really cool to see, and I'd recommend booking a stay during late October for this reason, if you can get a reservation.
This blockbuster setup was trucked in just a few days before Halloween. Um, you can tell a massive amount of work went into this crazy awesome display. I just had to mention that.
So that's everything we did in Sal while we were staying at Fort Wilderness Campground. Even though we worked that week, we still had a great time exploring the campground and seeing all the decorations. Um, and then as a last note I wanted to make about the transportation, um, there are buses that go to all the parks from the campground or you can take a ferry boat directly to Magic Kingdom. They also have boat rentals. And then as a side note, this is not a comprehensive guide to the campsites as I know for sure I've missed stuff. But I'm hoping I'm giving a good general overview of it. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.